Whoa. Good morning, YouTube. We got us a really wicked, uh, oh man, that's a baby U-Haul. Came in as a big rig loaded with tires. Well, it is loaded with tires. What's up, Ricardo? Hey. Let me see. All right, so I talked to the cops really quick. Um, they're gonna give me one more lane. Ricardo's gonna back up to it. He's gonna be my catch in the rear. This thing's mad loaded. And I'm gonna park all parallel to this thing. Once we upright it, we're gonna rear tow it like that. That way we don't have to kill lanes and flip it around. This guy must have been flying. Uh, backing up on the freeway is always a tricky thing, but CHP gave me my lane closure. Still though, you gotta be careful because a lot of people get impatient and try to drive through the cones, through the barricades. By the way, um, I'll put up the, the log right now of how it looks on the CHP website. Of All right, so we're gonna say we can access from the on-ramp. We can access from the on-ramp. So access southbound on Utah High to the east on 16. Shut up. This thing came in as an originally a big rig to our, uh, our base. I should have checked the, the site afterwards because they updated it to a U-Haul, but this is also not our area. Do you guys remember that burn bus that Alex did? This is the same area. Again, their towers had turned it down despite copying it originally. And they specifically requested Pepe's because they know we'll get it done. I think uh, right here is good. All right, so what I don't like is these walls. These walls are weak. I could kick right through that and cause a hole. You can see down there already, it's starting to crack. I think I'm gonna use your truck, Ricardo, to pre-pick it, see what it does. Okay. Because the tires right now are in the room this way. I just need a little bit of space to get one strap. So, uh, let's pick up from... Here? Yeah, probably. Just right here to see what it does on okay. the frame with your uh, red cable. All right, so I went up a little bit higher. So these tires will clear my outrigger right here. Oh, well, like I was just saying earlier, I was talking to the cops. They love calling us out directly when uh, their local vendors can't handle. Good. Now we're gonna go up just a little bit on the cable. I wanna see what it does. I need that to come up without breaking to get a strap underneath. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Hold it there, Ricardo. Let's, uh... That's gonna my parts. Keep the space. For safety, yeah. yeah. Just on the corners. Behind the lift gate and in front of the box. Oh, it's not ideal. But it's better than I'm gonna... Can't get any really better, so I'm gonna throw in my straps already. Let me see, I need four. I need a uh, four of uh, two of these and then two of these ones. If you can take those over there. All right, now let me put these over there. Thank you.
these will help brace the sidewall so I don't tear through it. Here, let, let me see that end. So it's the opposite, both of those, like that's gonna go on the rear axle and this end goes on the front axle. Okay. And, and that's gonna go in the middle. Or hold on, let me try something different. Yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna use three. These two for the, the rear. This one's gonna go on the bottom one, right? So I'm gonna put this corner and that corner, like right here and right here. And then the middle of the strap is gonna go in the back. And then that one's gonna be a single from like right here over this way. So if you want, let's, uh, how are we gonna do this? I'll grab this. Uh -huh. And just hold on to those ends. Hold on to both of the ends, please. Now we put my chains. Here. We'll get these ones. So one can go around all this. No. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. The side skirt. <clears throat> that's gonna be for the front for the, the blue 15 footer. But what I want, I want to go around the leaf. Oh, right here. Throw it under this. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if you guys can see this side skirt. If I step on it, it'll break. I'm trying to see where I could live from to avoid that. See this? So what I'm gonna do to avoid that is I'm gonna have to go around here and come out this way. Okay. Yeah. Got no choice. Cause I think that's the driver right there. I don't want you all to say I broke anything. The spider's flipped over. Perfect, baby. Yes. I'd rather put pressure against this. Okay, Ricardo. For these ones, I need the, the, the blue hooks go here. Same thing with the other one. I'm gonna pull it from the other side, okay? Uh, I could walk up my lines a bit more. So I got my front strap in. What I'm gonna do is connect my line. 
once I do that, Ricardo can disengage and re-rig to just be my catch only. Every recovery I film, oh, okay. and it goes in the file. Oh, okay. Like for example, let's say U-Haul. Ricardo, you can let go. Let's say U-Haul, I think their parent company is out of, uh, I, um, not Idaho. What's that state where everyone registers their stuff to not pay taxes? It's Tennessee or one of those, right? So they're gonna get an email that we had their stuff impounded at my yard, and some agents gonna get a bill for like some thousand. They're gonna be like, oh, am I paying so much thousand for tow truck? So hey, no problem. Just you got a Google Drive link. There you go. Throw them this, and there's there's zero, zero, zero issues about ever getting paid when you have something like this. Cause they don't know they're just pencil pushers from states away. Oh, it's Indiana that they're registered out of. Well, it's a huge, huge, huge insurance thing. Spider-Man. Okay, Ricardo, can you grab the other one and just throw it down? Because I'm going to need that one after. Thank you, sir. You're good to jump down. All right, so what I'm going to do now is um, take off my free spool, put tension, and you let go. All right, now free spool is off. Uh-oh. Ricardo, can you let out just a little bit on your cables? Move it out? Yeah, let out. More. Oh, hold it. Okay, more. More. Oh, shoot. It, it's, hit, it's hitting right there. Okay, let me go out. Okay, go down. More, more. I want to go in with my cable, okay? <clears throat> and it should pop that baby right into place. Okay, that, completely. That, that, that corner is not gonna damage the. This corner for the for the aluminum. Can I wrap it? Yeah, it might, so but there's there's no other way to do it. We go over a little bit and we adjust it. I'm comfortable with it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm comfortable with it. So for you as a catch, just keep the cable. This is. We we'll use that one. Huh? We'll keep this here, we'll just put a shackle and then get something like one of my 10 foot slings. Here, I'll give you one. You need a 10 footer. Okay guys, so I got a, a good amount of lift. Let's see if it's even possible to show. But it's still touching. So I definitely need that front strap up under be a little difficult but I can wiggle it in all right guys I see the problem now yeah the reason it's not coming up is because the wall is completely jacked up you can see it all right there completely broken open at the front so I'm not gonna get that gap but because I'm right here and it's held 
I'm gonna superman it and bring it up this way. I just need a catch on the front and I'm good to go. Very risky, but I got no other option. All right, got all my stuff set up. Let's check out the progress we made. Sound good? I like that. So I'm gonna, since the front's coming open, I'm gonna assist by putting my deck winch on the bottom with the snatch block so I can pull the front over. Then I put tension on this line for my catch. Too tall. Yeah, I got, I got one. We'll get a platinum thing. It's only ten feet long. So Ricardo's gonna swap out my Bailey's fifteen footer for my Bailey's platinum thing, which is only ten feet. He's got one mimicking me in the back. So the back's gonna be caught and the front's gonna be caught. And uh, oh yeah, we could probably see much better now of how it's ripped. Oh yeah, yeah. Hello. Nothing but air. Yeah, if you see in the front, it's already torn open like a mother. So I got the double straps in the front. So as soon as you start lifting up, the back end comes up with the front end stays on the ground because it's all ripped right there. But I'm confident we'll be able to get it with this. He's just gonna replace one strap and then it's go time, man. From there, we'll probably have to throw some straps once it's upright, to safely tow it off the freeway so the walls don't rip open with all the weight. You need any more lanes or that, we're, we're good here. This thing should be up in five minutes. Yeah, doing this. No problem, man. Then... Maybe another 15 to tow it. Well, I'll help him quick. <clears throat> Is this a 180 or OR? Well, he's here, so I'd rather have them sign it. OR then, you got it. If you need one, we can do it. Well, we'll do an owner's request. It's a Penske and a U-Haul. Yeah, and he said his boss is on the way, so. And we got a lot of Penske accounts, so I'm sure they'll be calling me soon. Good? Yeah, Okay. Shut up. Unless you're a fan, then what's up? Let me put some tension here first. <clears throat> Give me some slack there. On your line, slack. Get rid of the tension. No, Ricardo, on your line. Huh? On I, your... I have tension on my line. I don't know. Yeah, get rid of the tension. Remember, if I'm coming over and you have too much tension, you're going to fight me. So don't start putting tension until it's about to come over, okay? And just make sure that it, it stays like that until it's about to drop, then you put tension. All right, I'm ready. Okay, put tension.
Excellent. Now start dropping tension. Slowly, slowly. Here, hold it there and I'm gonna push it away from my truck. Yes, it held. <laughs> I need wood. I'm gonna put wood. Front tire only. This will prevent it from going uh, back and forth. Just put the other one right here, Ricardo. Not on the rear because I'm gonna manipulate the rear. Right there is good. Okay, now watch this as I push it away from my truck. Look. Not bad, huh? I'm good. I'm good. Start dropping it and even it out. I got no tension on my catches. Son of a gun, that was beautiful. Oh, I can't say that, I'm gonna get called cocky. Dude, that was awesome. That worked out too well. So, I say we rear tow it off the freeway. So just disconnect your main line and back up to it, good? Yeah. Then I can take that one out and just put all that to the side. Okay guys, this is the end result. We, we did this pretty dang fast, but I just want to show you guys something while Ricardo de-rigs in the front so he can back up and rear tow it. Check this out, this is why I use these double wide straps and nothing in the front. There's virtually no damage from my rigging equipment at all. Now I know I'm gonna get a lot of people that say, who cares, it flipped, why well, care? That's just the mentality. It flipped 90 degrees, I mean 180 degrees, but even the side skirts right here aren't bent, which is very hard to do, I mean, and then on this side as well. So, uh, under here on the opposite side, there was no way to, to put rigging to without crushing those skirts. So overall, I'm very happy. Let's see how Ricardo's doing. You know what, you're almost straight. You're yeah. almost straight, Ricardo. Yeah. Just looks like you have to pull forward to the right a little bit, huh? Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little to the right. By the way, fun fact is this is a Penske. Why did I think it was a U-Haul? It's not a U-Haul. No. It's fully Penske. Fun fact is I have about eight Penske accounts that call us direct for all their towing and stuff. So more than likely it's gonna go to one of uh, the local bases up here. Hey, this was a good idea to put it back here, huh? See, so if you guys can see this, I can, with enough force, pull this off. So my chain would have yanked that by putting it back here and rerouting it behind the bumper. Saved all that. If you guys are new to this channel, because I saw some on the last uh, job I did with that leaning container where I floated my truck is I get very animated on these jobs. I love this stuff. I love it, it's like a kid at Disneyland. So I'm very energetic and stuff, and a lot of people, I notice, take offense or get offended saying, calm down and you act too cocky. 
It's not cockiness. I love my job. I love this. I love having a great reputation with all the police. They call us direct when they know their people can't handle. Uh, you know, bringing things up like this that are loaded and ripped in the front without any further damage. It's just cool. God forbid you take pride in your work. Now comes the fun, fun, fun part of putting my truck away. Get these lanes open. Who needs tires? Maybe they have something for my Aston Martin. Ready? We'll go with the big one first. Last one. And then I'll close it. I hope it goes to Sun Valley. Uh oh. One. Two. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I see it. It's damaged. The rail broke. That's good enough to get off the freeway. And you know what, at this good angle, nothing's gonna come out. We'll do this to limp it off and then we can strap it off. That's it. Thank you. Ricardo, is that your wood? You have to take out the wood, you gotta move a little bit. No, is that your wood? Huh? That's your wood, right? Yeah, my okay. So Ricardo's just gonna tie the steering wheel. When you rear tow these, that's essential. You have to. Otherwise, these tires will turn on you and cause another accident. But we're pretty much done. The officer's gonna have us pull all the way to the shoulder in front of Van Nuys Boulevard. Really wide shoulder. He said that uh, this driver's boss is coming. So I guess that's where they want us to wait for him, so. All right, now this is always the fun part, is getting over. Let me put on my signal. Surely people will yield to me, right? Surely someone will. All right, good job, Ricardo. All right, perfect, one more. And one more. One more, sir. 
Good. And then they said right about here is where that shoulder is where they want us to wait. Let's roll up these windows. One thing you got to figure about how fast we work is it usually takes longer to uh, drive to and from these calls. Like I mentioned before, uh, West Valley is not our area. But uh, they really don't have any towing vendors here that are capable of handling even these little rollovers. So they have to pull from outside of the area, which is us. I threw in the log at the beginning. You can see they like to just specifically say, hey, rope FS tow. They know we never turn these down. And we're here. Well, I guess we just uh, kick back and wait. See what the boss wants to do. And they authorize us to take it to Penske, one of our local vendor accounts up here. We got all that done. Just gonna tell Ricardo, oh, there he is. Putting some extra safety straps because uh, the gate broke. And this will prevent the tires from coming out. Yeah, it's at an incline like that. Gravity holds them in. And it's going super local, but safety first. By the way, I'm still really proud of this stuff. I mean, I showed you guys. See how easy it flexes? How easy these things are to destroy. And you wouldn't be able to tell, obviously, when it this guy got pitted, he said, like a pit maneuver, spun out and rolled against the center divider. Then saw this and the broken glass, but Besides that initial impact damage, you can't really tell. So now we're at outro. Peace out, y'all.